Good day, friends. Derek, that ADU guy here, and we're gonna check out this awesome property behind me. We have a primary house, a detached ADU, and I just completed a detached living space conversion from a garage. Let's go check it out. It was kind of an ugly gray with red trim that I wasn't super fond of, and we refurbed the whole inside of the house, light remodel, new paint, refinished the floors, new countertops, new fixtures, and um, the, the real play on this project was the detached garage with alley access that we were able to convert into detached living space. So here we are inside this detached garage conversion ADU. It's 20 by 20, and as you can see from the before pictures, this place has been completely transformed. And what I love so much about this property was that it had alley access, it had high ceilings, and it had good access to the infrastructure. The sewer line actually runs right underneath this garage. If you follow along, you'll remember we cut up a lot of the concrete and dug down four feet to replace the sewer lateral. And at that time, it was really easy to put in a bathroom. So this is a very simple design, just like everything that we do. It's affordable, it's simple. It's 20 by 20, it's only 400 square feet. But we do a nice, simple, one wall galley kitchen. We only have 13 feet across here. This actually doesn't fully qualify as a kitchen due to zoning regulations. There's no 220 volt wiring in here. Our jurisdiction allows us to use plug-in appliances. So you can put a two burner induction cooktop right here on the bar top. That's one of the ways that we're able to build needed infill housing within the code. Apartment size fridge, this is a 10.1 cubic foot fridge. These are the standard cabinets that I always use. They're custom made by my buddy Thomas at Jackson Creek Caseworks. And as opposed to getting them in clear alder, I just got them in poplar and then I painted them in place after I installed them. And it was a way to get them quicker. I had about a 10 day turnaround on those, which was really cool. Uh, Prefabricated granite surround. This is a nine foot slab that I brought home in the back of the minivan. Tooled myself. We just cut it just like we would plywood. And because I use a 15 gauge stainless steel overmount sink, uh, we're able to hide the cut marks that we use with a diamond blade. So anybody can do this, super simple. A small bathroom, five foot wide because it's set up for a simple prefabricated fiberglass shower surround. And then we have a small 30 inch vanity and a toilet. Again, we're looking for affordability and simplicity. Pocket door here, this is to save space. So when we have a five by eight bathroom, it would be a real bummer to lose the square footage. Just a couple inches this door would stick out if it were to swing open and against the wall would really impede on the small bathroom. So that's why we use the pocket door strategy. This will be a barn door. There's gonna be a six foot sliding barn door that covers up the bedroom opening. Simple bedroom here. Um, all of our units get the same HVAC component. This is a 12,000 BTU Daikin mini split. They're really efficient. They're about $3,000 installed and they'll heat and cool up to 600 square feet. Small closet. Um, all of our ADUs get in-unit washer and dryer. Again, we're competing with one bedroom, one bath apartments that are usually gonna be shared wall. You probably have a neighbor above you, below you, beside you, and most likely don't have a washer and dryer. So that's one thing we like to do. Um, double bypass doors, the other side of this closet is just a shelf and pole. Um, some small touches, we like to put hooks um, on each side, belt hangers. Every little bit of vertical storage you have in a small space is really important. We did a drop ceiling for the bathroom and for the closet to create a little bit of needed storage loft space. So it's 24 inches tall, so you can slide some totes up there or store your skis or even stuff a kayak up there. So that's what we have. A few principles that I always talk about in ADU is we wanna have visual look through on every wall. So every wall of this house has at least one window or multiple windows. And that's gonna A, allow a lot of natural light in, and B, it's gonna give us more visual volume. Another way we achieve that is with really light color. So this is an off-white wall color and a semi-gloss, and then we do a bright white lid. So we have passive solar 
bouncing off this flooring and coming up and hitting that glossy ceiling and making the place feel bigger than it is. We've got recessed lighting at the top. Another little trick I use is it's only a little bit more money to put your lights on dimmers, maybe $20 more for a switch, and it just gives it a nice feel. A lot of the competition wouldn't go that far. One of the questions I get most often is, Derek, why don't you ever use LVP? And my normal answer is because I just prefer hardwood. I like how it looks, I like how it feels, I like, I like a nice raw, nailed down hardwood that I sand, buff, and finish myself. But this is one exception because it's on a slab on grade. And LVP is a great product. It's about the only product that I would want to use on a slab on grade. Out here we have what I call the smallest yard I've ever built. And the setback to the alley here is only three feet. This isn't really a three foot rear yard. All it is is kind of a defining line. It's just one nice way to um, make demarcation between alley space and living space. So if you're looking for a property where a garage conversion may come into play, alley access is a great option. Ideally, you would have parking in the alley. You can have your tenant take access from the alley and not even know that they share the property with the front house. So this used to be a two car roll up garage door. Here, um, one of the things we had to do right when we got out of the gate with this project was replace the sewer line. So if you see these locate marks and this fresh asphalt scar in the alleyway, that's where we had to put a new sewer lateral from the main house all the way out to the alley. This was a 400 square foot ADU. We were all in for about $30,000, but a lot of that is sweat equity because I do the work myself. So if you're really handy or your uncle is a contractor and is gonna help you, I would say you can probably do it for about $75 a square foot for the, for the very bare minimum, but about $100 a square foot is where I tell people to start planning their detached garage conversion ADU. Hey, thank you so much for watching this garage conversion ADU. If you found value, feel free to like and subscribe, but more than that, just start planning your ADU today.